Jacques Callas has made his way to the middle. Recently knocked off his perch as the number one player in the world. And now one right through Callas. Welcome to the crease. And that's through. Once again, it's more runs down to third man. And Callas is off the mark. That's through. First time Callas has got onto the front foot for a drive. Beautifully placed. Good shot. Very good shot. Good use of the feet down the pitch. Straight back over the bowler's head. First one didn't turn a lot from Shane Warne. Just trying to get the ball to drop and bounce a little bit on Callis. Callis quick on his feet. It's pretty well played. It wasn't all that short. And he pounced on it quickly. Three for 134. Well, that's well played. He's pulled that away nicely, running away down towards the square leg boundary, and that's for... Well, Callas is starting to get uh, quite aggressive with anything slack short. Just wide of uh, slip. Always a difficult one when the batsman's cutting. Once did he get a hand on this? I think he probably did. Here it goes, and Warren's on his way. Oh, no, perhaps he didn't. If he did, it was a fingertip. It was pretty close, though. That's even better timed. In fact, that's a beauty. And what a good innings. There's 50 there for Jacques Callis. Hard earned. And they're regarded as nothing more than half a job done. That's a wonderful stroke and made to look so simple by the footwork. Palace is beginning to get better and better. He really has started to hit the ball crisply. That's not hurting so much, except Stuart McGill's bowling figures. And it brings up the 200 as well for South Africa. Callas connects it. Stewie McGill can do nothing at fine leg. Played that well, Jacques Callis. That was a pretty good bouncer from McGrath. He got it nice and high, which is what you want to try and do as a bowler. Got it high. He kept it down well. That one's cut. Andrew Simons was put in place for that shot, but he had no impact, and Callis goes to 72. Very well placed shot this from Jack Callis. We waited for this nicely. Just beat Andrew Simons. And that opened up that big gap just behind point. Beautifully placed. Waited for it and placed the ball. He's starting to play with good intent all around the ground to the quicks as well as the spinners. Just like that. There is no one out there whatsoever. Jack Callis helps himself. Oh, he's hit that well. That's beautifully played. Short delivery and smashed away in front of square for four. Jacques Callas means business here. Faces lots of deliveries and then waits for the ball that he wants to hit. He was waiting for that one. He's hit that one over mid-wicket. Full toss he gets from Stuart McGill. He's able to get the runs from there. That takes him to 96. Is it? Yes, it is. Bottom line is that Jack Callis is on strike. He's on 99. He does have a 99 against Australia. Run out by Damian Martin. Waiting. And that will do it. Places that beautifully. A lovely way to bring up the highest score against Australia and your 23rd Test Match 100. It's been a good partnership and a good innings from Jack Callis. When uh, last he played on this ground, it was in the rest of the world matches, and he looked right out of sorts. He's taken his time with, uh, with this innings.
261 balls for 103. But they've built a good partnership. He goes for it. And also places that well. And he places it right between the two men in the deep. That's in the air. This is going to be out. McGrath's underneath it. He does not drop catches. Well, Simons is turning it on for Australia. He's the go-to man here. And the wonderful partnership between Callison and Prince has come to an end.